Hi guys. Um, going to do a bit of maintenance today, and specifically, we're going to try this. Uh, the tuner that sits in the pickup um, cover. Uh, so yeah, we're going to pop this in the Les Paul Standard and uh, just walk you through the process. So I came across this um, as part of the, the NAG Steve Stevens. Has them all as standard. Um, personally, I think it's an absolutely brilliant thing. Doesn't need to be plugged in. Just bang, hit the little knob, and hit the little button on the pickup cavity thing, um, and you can tune away, volume down, and all that good stuff. So, I'm going to walk you through the process about how to install this thing. We need to remove the bridge pickup, put the new cover on it, run the wires through to the uh, cavities where the pots sit, and uh, connect it to the battery. A little bit of soldering, but it looks to be pretty simple. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. So first thing is we need to remove the pickup uh, completely. Um, so you'll need to loosen the strings off. I'll do that in a second. And then undo all six screws, including the middle one here as well. So uh, yeah, make sure you undo all six. Obviously put them somewhere safe. And uh, we'll come back in a second. Okay, so as you can see, like I said, strings are nice and loose. I'll take them off if you even want to. Um, now, I've loosened all the screws here. Now, before I do the next thing, I'm just going to give you a little tip here. Make sure you make a note of the way your pickup is sitting. Um, you can see my screws are at the back here. If you've got the Zebra pickups, for example, like this, you know, white one at the back something like that just make sure you've got your pick up the right way around um, so now we're going to lift all of this out and take the pickup out and replace the cover right so pickup is out and we're ready to drop this in you can see there is a little bit of electronics attached here obviously be really really careful we want everything to um, stay intact <laughs> A little ribbon um, thingy there which attaches to the, the tune a bit so make sure um, just be careful with that we've got two lots of wires to get down there somehow um, and this is where the fiddly bit gets now uh, the advice um, they have given and actually corrected is their advice says um, make sure the shadow bit is facing against the bottom of the pickup and then they've added an extra bit of paper that says please reverse that so what you actually need to do is make sure it sits that way okay writing on the bottom facing down so the blank black bit um, the pickup will sit on top of that like this so um, obviously wires need to be pointing down um, so that we can get them down that little hole there and uh, we've got plenty of cable length to get them down there so uh, this is pretty fiddly so bear with me for a minute <laughs> right now uh, a fair bit of mucking around um, hopefully you can see those wires have now come all the way through there and uh, the rest of it should be relatively straightforward so this is attached to um, one of the volume pots and this is um, attached to the battery that will be stuck on the side there somewhere. So firstly, what we've got to do is now, you can see the wires there, go safely down there. We've got to make sure that that, as I said, is facing downwards. You can't see the writing. We get the pick up on top and then we'll put the cover back on and screw all that. So uh, I'll get onto that. So um, what we're going to do now is some soldering, but I'll show you the back of the um, nags. This is what we're aiming for. So we've got um, a little butterfly clip thing attached on the side there, just a little bit of Velcro there, so that's really easy. The soldering bit is, I'm hoping, going to be fairly straightforward. 
And um, what we're aiming for is this one here. And it's soldered onto the neck um, volume pot. So we've got the white wire is attached there, not the connection with the resistor. You want that one. Um, and then there is a tiny little um, grounding wire there that just hits onto that. Um, and there's a tiny little bit of thin wire there that grounds it to the other volume pot. So aim for that thing. Um, I'll show you the Gibsons in a second, but like I said, this is what we're aiming for. This is what it's going to look like. So this is the Les Paul standard now. Um, so as you can see, there's our white and earth wire. So what we're aiming for is the white wire to attach to that one. Hopefully you can see that there. Like I said, not the resistor one. The other one, the other connector there. Um, and then the earth wire will just connect to this little um, grounding thing that's happening there. There's a bit of wire going across there, so we'll solder it on there. So um, that one there for the white, that one there for the earth. Um, here we go. Okay, hopefully you can see we've got... Um, let me use the other hand there, this one here. So that is now connected to the volume output there and earth wire is connected there. And now we have to find somewhere for this thing to go. Um, so what we've got is this with a little bit of sticky on it. Um, most um, Gibson sort of guitars have at least a little bit of flat surface. So I'm aiming for here, just on the top there and uh, just stick that on and connect the butterfly clip and we should be right to go. So as I said, um, a little bit of Velcro 3M tape stuff stuck on there. Um, obviously, make sure your butterfly clip is facing towards um, the cable uh, output or where the cables are coming from, I should say. Um, so we're just going to Wiggle that on there, just make sure that's all out of the way. Everything's good, it's not all touching one another, so we shouldn't have any ground loops or anything like that. And then we just plug that in there. So um, let's plug it in and we'll fire it up and uh, see how it goes. And here we are guys, the finished product. So, um, You've seen these things before. There's a little button on the side there that turns it on. And here's the E string. A string. Everything in tune. Ready to rock. Highly, highly recommend this. The Shadow Pickup Tuner. Uh, really, really good. Great value for money. Never forget your tuner ever again. Get one.